All right, guys. Today I'm gonna we'll show you how I make my my chicken for my catfish bait. Uh, I've had some uh, questions what to do, so you just got got your favorite salmon colored knife. This thing's really sharp. I like it. Get your chicken breast, boneless breast, fold out. Cut it up real small. Make sure you cut it on a paper plate so you cut through a paper plate, make a mess. Try to make it like half inch cubes or whatever size hook you're going to use. Watch your fingers. Kind of falling apart on me. Get out of here. You want some of that? Huh? Yeah. Oh, man. Coming from everywhere now. Go on. Very simple process. Throw this out the microwave. And some of it cooks a little bit. Very tender. This might be a little hard to keep on the hook. Catfish really like this. Unfortunately, so the turtles, as you've noticed in the past. Piece a little big there. <clears throat> what I do is just leave this out in the sun, outside, let it dry out a little bit. Cause there's gonna be a lot of moisture still in it from thawing out. If you don't, when you put your Kool-Aid in your in with your chicken in the bag, it's gonna be a big soupy mess. So we will leave that to dry out, and uh, we'll come back later. All right, I'm gonna speed this drying process up a little bit. So I got two plates here. I set the paper towel on there. So I can dump this over here. Help the drying process out a little bit better. Get some all that moisture out of there. Because the bees are really interested. Get out of here. That's all there is to it. Pretty dry. Get your bag, Ziploc bag. Try to dump that in there. Like that, get that out of the way. Pack of Kool-Aid. I guess you can use whatever flavor you want, but I've always used red. Bought a bunch of them at one time. Yep. Dump that in there. Close it up. Start mixing. I'm 
normally do two breaths at one time, but this pack I thought out only had one. It'd be enough for a while anyway. That's all the rest of it. We'll catch you some fish.